Hi there, my name is Kunneberg and welcome to my channel. This is a game review of the demo of Eternity's Child, an indie adventure platform game. The developer is Luke Bernard and Silver Sphere Studios, and the publisher is Silver Sphere Studios. It came out 2008, it's got very negative reviews, and it's calling £2.99 on Steam. It's got single players and partial achievements, apparently, or achievements, um, and it's for Windows XP to Vista. Uh, it says, Eternity's Child, a quirky, hand-drawn, next-generation 2D platformer, is based on a fairy tale by Luke Bernard. Uh, and then it just talks about, it's got HD resolution, 2D graphics, uh, unique art direction done in the video game, orchestral soundtrack to be updated, blah, blah, blah. So, um, yes, it's got negative reviews, but I review anything, within reason. Um... When you start the game up, you come here to the options, but you you can't go back to the the thing anyway. So the the options are there's your keyboard, um, and there's that, but you can't come back out of it. You have to apply the new settings if you've not applied any settings. Um, so the keys are A and D, left and right. Space bar to jump and shift to walk. Where's my clock? There it is. I need to know what I'm doing for time. Okay, let's just play the demo and see what it's like. I've no idea about the audio either. Oh crap.
thing gone. Oh, not up there. Really? Okay. Okay, um, well there we are, um, I, yeah, I can see why the negative reviews, yes the graphics are pretty cool I must admit, they are quite nice, uh, I've no idea who that other one that is floating by me is, I have no idea, the interesting thing is, well you go to options, where is the mouse, left, right, jump, shift, yeah, that's all it tells you. It doesn't tell you that you can fire your fire something to shoot at these things that are shooting at you. It didn't tell me that until I just accidentally clicked it because I had no idea what this thing was for. I know it was my, my uh, cursor but I didn't know what it was for, you know, this thing. Like I say, there's the other creature that's, that's hovering next to me. I have no idea why. Maybe it's for two players. I have no idea. I was collecting coins for some reason. I thought that was for my bullets, but then they never seemed to end. The bat died by just falling into the side of the wall, and then it was dead. In fact, there was a couple of times it just died, but it, it just seemed to just die, which I thought it was supposed to be flying to kill me. I, and, and then I could, I literally could jump through levels, which I've seen before on things like, um, I mean, oh, you're talking way, way back, the old platform games of the spectrum days when you could jump through uh, floors but that was kind of like the way it was this is bizarre I, I, you know I'm not even walking on the on the hedges I'll call them hedges I don't know I'm walking in them uh, yeah yeah I can see the negative reviews ah uh, oh. um do I recommend it? No. Um, save your money and go somewhere else. I mean, maybe in the sale if you really, really want to go for it, but pff, I won't bother. Um, I can see why negative reviews instantly. I mean, like I say, it looks quite nice, you know. But it's just... <sighs> no. no. <laughs> that's, that's as far as it's gone. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed enjoyed watching the uh, game review of the demo of Eternity's Child. I have other game reviews in my channel if you want to watch them. Nothing like this. I've got other platform kind of games, other kind of hand-drawn games. Um, probably some, well, quite a lot better actually. Um, please subscribe if you want to. Well, please subscribe anyway, because like I say, I have other games. I do do other Let's Plays as well. And give me a thumbs up. Uh, and if you've also played this game, let me know in the comments box below. I'm curious. Okay, thank you and goodbye.